Well, a number of um, strong memories, really. Um, it, it was a strange little war, you know, 100 hours. But the um, challenge for us, uh, I was the operations officer working for the senior naval officer Middle East, was integrating with the Americans, who had a huge fleet. Um, and in fact, I'd been the liaison officer with the American fleet beforehand. Um, Battle Force Zulu with four aircraft carriers doing shock and awe um, attacks against um, the Iraqis in Kuwait. And we had to negotiate with them uh, how to clear the mines that surrounded Kuwait. And that involved sending our relatively um, unprotected minesweepers in very close within range of all the um, missiles and um, artillery of the Iraqi forces. Um, and that the aim of that was to then let the American battleships in to do long-range gunnery. So getting the Americans to be realistic about what we could do with our minesweepers and when and how to protect them um, was a challenge of diplomacy. And uh, I greatly admired my boss, Chris Craig, who, who did that. Um, and having achieved it, uh, seeing battleships like Wisconsin firing huge broadsides into Iraq was just unforgettable. And the less happy memories perhaps were hearing, um, not, if not seeing, because I think they were both at night, the explosions that severely damaged the US destroyer Princeton and their amphibious ship Tripoli. Mines have very large amounts of explosive in them, much more than a missile or, or a, even a torpedo. Um, and it's a tremendous thump, and you wonder just what's happened, whether it's broken the back of a ship or not. Um, but both ships managed to survive. They have very good damage control. And rather amusingly, that the most serious damage to an individual in Tripoli was a sailor who was the mine lookout, who sat in the very bows of the ship. And because it was so hot, they built a little canopy over his head. And the mine went off, and the ship whipped. And he was bounced up and hurt his head on the the canopy that had been designed to protect him from the sun. Um, and we then sent our divers over to help clear the, uh, the damage in the wake of that explosion. <laughs>